Hey guys, Rebecca here. It's day 13 of VEDA. I'm with my husband. This is Dan. Hi. Dan Collins. And he's going to, I'm going to interview him tonight, ask him questions about his sketchbook. Well, uh, really, uh, I started working in a sketchbook um, when I discovered that uh, these little water-soluble pens right here. Where do you were, get these? Um, uh, these come from Staples. So these are just ordinary, yeah, ordinary office uh, ink, supplies? Office supply ink pens. Um, and I started, uh, I did a sketch of an elephant, and uh, I discovered that, uh, that you could do all this, this fun, you know, sketchy line work and take a brush loaded with water and create some beautiful watercolor effects also. Uh, you can see it a little more clearly in... Uh, zebra. Zebra. Zebra is cool. Um, the gray areas are, are washes created from the uh, the ink bleeding. Of course, you have to use some decent paper. How do you, you control that? Um, I can see like, trying that and it just looking like a big mess. So how do you how do you keep it from bleeding where you don't want it to bleed? Well, I mean, you have to gain a feel for your <laughs> materials. Obviously, yeah. you have to you have to know how much water you want on your brush and where you want it to go and do you yes keep a, do sometimes you keep a rag there to, to dab it if you get too much water on it no but i should but usually yeah. what i'll do is uh, if i put too much water uh you don't panic and you just <laughs> <I> uh, <would>. <laughs> get your brush clean it out and put your brush back down where there's too Sop much it water up. And soak it back up uh, um, so i mean you know these these kinds of things uh, they lend themselves to making a few mistakes and the mistakes being okay it's loose. Um, it's so it's, it's kind of loose. Yeah, they're kind of loose. I mean, yeah. it looks, the form itself looks pretty tight because mm -hmm. I've started out with pencil and gotten everything where I wanted it to be. But uh, when I went to actually put the uh, the lines that are going to show, the dark lines, I got real sketchy with it. Yeah, I, then, like uh, the, I like the squiggly lines. Right. I like the loose line work. Um, I've done some other things with a little more color. Um there's a blue belt duck. And these are, this is all done. Uh, this one has a little tiny bit of green uh, watercolor. watercolor that I used. But basically, this is all I used. Red, really? blue, and black pen. And then you watercolor got, So So, that, so yeah. the purpley look is just mm -hmm. from the ink fading? Yes. Because there's like a little purpley tinge to that blue. Right. Mm, yeah. That's nice. So, and I've done some other ones where I've uh, drawn from photographs I've taken, and uh, I wanted to go a little bit further, so I added some acrylic, and uh, so this one uh, started out as just a pencil pen drawing and uh, ended up being a painting, basically. So, so that one got a little heavier. That one got a little heavy. This one was done with just two colors. It's penguin. It's so simple and happy. Black and red. Looks like he's just flapping his wings. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the animals that he um, will will choose to draw are in motion. He, you know, mm -hmm. he's got a pelican diving, and you know, lots of you know. You notice the deer had one little paw up. He mm -hmm. likes to capture things moving, and it makes them feel completely alive. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. No. Nope. And how long does uh, one of like? You know, sometimes I'll go to I'll go to teach class. I'll come home and he'll have completed a drawing mm -hmm. while I've been in class. How yeah, long do these that's take? That's about you? a thirty minute sketch. Thirty minute sketch so, there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and some of them, you know, on the on the verge of, of overwork. Uh, this one <laughs> like probably one. about an hour. Or so so. <laughs> so thirty minutes right. to an hour, and you've yeah. got an animal. That's pretty right. cool. Um, anything else we need to know? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. I I've scanned. <laughs> I scanned a bunch of these a while ago, so I'm gonna go look for those, and we'll slideshow those at the end. So thanks for watching tonight. Have a good Sunday, yes, and thanks for, um, me. thanks for meeting me. So anyway, we have a lot of fun. Um,